$18.90 for Costa Sendis. This has come all the way from New York. Wow. Oh, hi, everybody, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai channel. Well, you just uh, have caught me in the middle of unpacking this little package that has arrived in the mail, and this was sent to me from somebody over in New York. So I thought in this video, we'll unpack it and see what they have sent me. So yeah, as I say, this package has come all the way from New York. Uh, I won't say exactly where because I don't want to reveal the guy's address. Um, but yeah, it says on here, fabric samples, fabric samples. So I wonder what's in here. It cost $18.90 to send us. So yeah, let's take a look and see what's inside the package. So you can see I've already opened the end just to have a little look inside. I haven't checked it completely. I've just you know, I've left that for the video, but as always, I do decide to have a little peek just to see what it is and make sure that it's you know suitable to go on camera. But we can see oh, there's a little note just in here. And it looks as though we have some little packages of fabric. Yeah, it feels kind of interesting. There's something inside there, so that's going to be interesting. But there's this little note just here. So this little note says, hey, Gav, uh, in close, please find the fabric samples that we discussed, as well as the buttons my wife found whilst mudlarking in the Thames many years ago. Please unwrap and sew. Uh, thanks again, S Steve from Steve's Backyard Bonsai. So yeah, thanks a lot, Steve. That's fantastic. Excellent. If you don't know Steve from Steve's Backyard Bonsai, I will put a link to his channel just up here. And of course, there will be one in the description box below. But yeah, thanks again, Steve. That's great. So buttons that your wife found whilst mudlarking in the Thames. Uh, yeah, this is gonna, this is going to be interesting. So yeah, let's see uh, what you've seen and uh, what these buttons look like. So yeah, some of the funny things that people send me in the post, right? So let's, uh, let's first take a look at this one. This one feels, yeah, it's kind of interesting, this one. Let's uh, pull this here. I think it's just put tape on here just to hold this in. Should be able to you know, tear it just like so. Has he done this? Has he put tape all the way around? Yeah, I think he has. Let's just pull that like so. And I don't, whatever's in here, it feels it's small. So I don't want it to roll out of the fabric. This almost feels like Christmas morning, you know, like when you're looking at all of your parcels under the tree, you know, and you can't wait to unwrap them. So at the moment of truth, you know, you open them up and think, oh, wow, look. Well, you sure put a lot of tape on these. Oh, here we go. We're finally getting inside this little parcel. Let's open this up. And what do we have inside the fabric? We have, uh, still going, there's still more. We have buttons. So these must be the buttons that he sent, or that his wife has sent, whilst mudlarking in the Thames. So yeah, thanks, Steve. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these buttons, but yeah, thanks for sending them to me. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> but yeah, kind of the funny things that people send me, but that's great. Yeah, thanks a lot, Steve. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, this uh, selection of different size buttons, but I'm sure I'll find, uh, sure find a use for them. Well, let's just put that to the side because, of course, we do have the other one. Now, I think this is what he meant to send. You know, this is what he, um, you know, orig we originally spoke about. So, you know, I do know a little bit about what was uh, in this package because we did uh, speak about it beforehand. So let's, you can see my fingers are a little bit dirty. I've been doing a little bit of root work on one of my trees and I thought I'd just get this video in quick so we can see several layers of fabric here quite a few layers of fabric and there's more more fabric even more wow that's just a piece of tissue so more unwrapping I have an idea what these might be. Uh, Steve did say that he had never sent, you know, and I don't want to reveal what it is just yet, 
but he, he had never sent anything like this across the pond before. And he was very, you know, worried about it as far as customs and everything else. So uh, he wanted to take extra precaution, uh, which is why he's used a lot of fabric. And I'd imagine he's also sent the buttons. So in here, this is the, the true thing that I wanted. And these are little berries. Now, these are actually berries from a burning bush. And he said he had a burning bush growing down his street that in autumn time has these, uh, you know, really takes on this beautiful color. And he said, would I like some? So, you know, I, I, I've never grown a burning bush before. So I was really excited to give these a go. But yes, yeah, you can see these are, these have all dried off. And I think he said that I should soak these in, in vinegar to break down the, the coating. So I think I'll do that. And then maybe in the next day or two, I'll sow these and hopefully we can end up with a little burning bush tree. That's fantastic. We have plenty of berries here to play with. So yeah, hopefully we can germinate some of these and they become fantastic little trees for the future. So yeah, thanks again, Steve, for sending me these burning bush berries. Uh, as I say, I've never grown these before. They're a new one for me, but as we discussed, I think soaking them in vinegar for a few days just to break down the shells and the seed coating is a wise move. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put these into some vinegar just to, you know, once I finish filming this video. And hopefully we can get some of these to germinate and turn these into some very nice trees. So yeah, thanks again for sending me these. And uh, thanks again for also sending me the buttons. As I say, I've no idea what I'm gonna do with them, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure they're gonna come in handy on some project in the future. And uh, you never know, maybe one of my shirts might lose a button and I have a, a spare one to sew on. So yeah, thanks again for that. That's excellent. And I'm sure I might also be able to find a use for some of this fabric. Maybe we'll be able to use it in a different, you know, some kind of uh, uh, upcoming project or something like that. But yeah, thanks again, Steve. That's absolutely fantastic. I really do appreciate that. And and that's uh, hopefully these are going to make fantastic additions to my bonsai collection. Well, as I say, if you don't know Steve, these channels Steve. Uh, Steve's Backyard Bonsai. I will put a link to his channel in the description box below. I highly recommend you go over and check out his channel. And um, I think with that, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. As always, take it, you know, take it easy. Have a great day, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.